Can you see that? 52 days until the Copenhagen Marathon. Seven weeks and three days in total. Today I've got a marathon workout. It's gonna be a little bit of a reduced session because I'm racing this weekend at the Bath Half Marathon. And I managed to convince Nick uh, Nick Bester, we did a video last week. I trained in Battersea Park, we did 15 by a K. I'll leave a link to the video if you wanna go check that one out. I've managed to convince Nick to venture out to the Essex countryside for another session. Um, so typically this session would be seven times three K at my marathon pace. Today we've made the session a little bit shorter, or for me anyway, Nick's gonna still be doing the seven by three. But I plan to do four or five by three K with one K float at around my half marathon pace just because I've got the race this weekend. Today is Thursday, so it's three days out from the Bath Half Marathon. So it's the last final workout, so I'm conscious I don't want to put too much fatigue into the legs um, ahead of the weekend, but at the same time, I don't want to taper for this one because it is just a bit of a tune-up race to see where I'm at with seven odd weeks of training left to go. So shoes for today, I'm gonna to use the Takumi Sen 10s for the workout, for the fast stuff. So those 3K reps are gonna be aiming for around somewhere between 312 and 314 per kilometre, um, depending on the conditions down there. These are just a bit more of a um, 5K, 10K racing shoe, but I find they're really good for sessions as well, especially on the track, even though today we're gonna to be on the road. So I'm just gonna whack a bit of this on my legs. Uh, Pure Sport Freeze Roll On. This is a fresh one, um, just to wake up the legs. I did a track session on Tuesday, um, which was some really fast 400s. Um, which to be honest with you put, puts quite a lot of fatigue into my legs so they're not necessarily very fresh today but hopefully this will just wake them up a little bit um, ahead of the session and then I'm gonna go picnic up from the station and we're gonna head down to one of my local loops to get the session started The man. Let's go. How you doing, buddy? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the countryside. Good to see you. Proper countryside. How was the train? Uh, it was good. It was good. It was awesome until I got a fine, and then it wasn't. It was fine. <laughs> Why did you get a fine for? <laughs> oh man, it was going so right, and then obviously I missed the one from Liverpool Street. Yeah. Um, so I had to get on the next one, and obviously it was a different station. It's like oh, a different station. Shit. So I took a chance. Took yeah. a chance. Win a prize. I got the fine about three minutes before I got off. So oh, that's I was so, so close, annoying. but. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, it's okay. oh, okay. never mind. Hopefully I have a better session. <laughs> Sorry to about that. Oh, that's more motivation for the session. Right? Yeah. All, good. all right, let's get going. So we've just arrived at the secret location, ready for today's session. We've got Liam on the electric bike today, so he should be getting some, some footage. Oh, I say it as I nearly dropped the camera. Nick's here as well. What's up, what's up? He made it, despite getting a bit of a fine on the way here. <laughs> oh dear, we're both going for the Takumi Sens. Definitely didn't plan that today, did we? Not at all. Not at all, but yeah, this is the location. What do you think? Awesome, awesome. A Very peaceful. To, to Battersea, but probably just as flat and fast, hopefully. Yeah, it should be just as flat, that's for sure. And it doesn't seem too windy. Got the old airfield over here, but um, yeah, should be a good session. Gonna start the warm up, then we we'll get stuck in.
percent done. I think we averaged three thirteens for that. We got the pacing a little bit off, plus it was quick, and that made it a little bit harder. But yeah, there is a little bit of wind. I didn't think there was, but just that start second rep, aim for around the same pace and not get carried away. Two hundred meters left. It's always a bit tricky that second one because you're working hard, but you know you've got a lot ahead of you. So that's key to just focus on the next one. Yeah, we have to sit in a little bit on this one. So I struggle already. So come on, hang in there. Yeah, you got this. Number four coming up. Gonna fall off the back, just keep going. So just coming to the end of the fourth one there. It's definitely enough for me today. Just feeling really tired and lethargic. But Nick is smashing it. He's got a few more reps to go, so I'm gonna let Mr. Cameraman stick with Nick, document his last few reps, and I'll catch up with you after my warm down. But I'm done. That's enough for me. Good job, Nick. Keep going. Thanks, buddy. Thanks very much. So good for Just finished the session. Mine was a little bit short today. To be honest with you, I had a bit of a shocker. Um, I think from the start, my legs just felt pretty tired, and I knew I was going to struggle. I think from the second rep, you could kind of tell I wasn't, I wasn't firing all, all cylinders today. I think for a number of reasons. One is I did a really hard track session on Tuesday. It's now Thursday, so usually I give myself uh, two days easy between my sessions. But I brought this one forward for um, the half marathon at the weekend. And yeah, just next felt a little bit tired, but one of those sessions. How did you get on? Don't be so hard on yourself. No, I, I, I wouldn't call it a shocker. No, um, not a shocker. But Joe, you know what? I could tell. I could actually tell you went on on song today. Um, yeah. But that's okay. I think it's a good thing actually because uh, you need to go through those phases in training, Definitely. and um, and that's what training is about for like 99% of us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, often on social media we tend to put the good sessions and the stuff we fly and kill it. So. You know what I, I found today very tough as well. There's something about this loop. I mean, it's pretty flat, but in the beginning, Ben said it wasn't really windy, and I think uh, the weather gods heard us, and the, <laughs> the wind sort of picked up yeah. as the session went on, and uh, it was exposed. So, do you know what? When you can do sort of that sort of session uh, on a loop like this with exposed conditions, you've got to hope that uh, come race day, in a group, in a pack. Um, that things feel a whole lot easier. So Definitely. yeah, I think I find today mentally one of the harder sessions. Um, I also cut my session short by just 1K, uh, but I, I decided I think that's the best way to keep it productive. So honestly, yeah, thanks for, for linking up today. If I'd done that by myself or without Liam on the bike, there's no ways I would have stuck it out. So, so thanks so much for that. So I just got back from the session, about to have some lunch. I've got Italian lamb ragu. These are from a company called Simmer Eats. Um, I've got a 15% your first orders. Uh, discount code that I'll leave in the description. 40 grams of protein straight after the training, so it's always good um, for recovery. I thought I'd quickly go through the session on the Chorus app. Uh, let me jump on quickly. So in total, around 25 kilometers today, 
Um, I ended up doing four reps and not five because I wasn't feeling great as you could probably see in the footage. The first rep we ran 313, so roughly what we wanted um, to start off with, which is around my half marathon pace. The second set, 315. The third set, 317. And then on that fourth set, I was cooked. I ran 319, which is still faster than my uh, marathon pace. In hindsight, it wasn't a terrible session. I didn't completely fall off the rails, but I could just tell um, that my legs were a little bit sore. As I said in the intro, I moved today's session forward a day so that when it comes to Sunday, I'm a little bit fresher um, than if I say did this session on, fr on Friday, which is when I usually would do it. It was one of those sessions today. It didn't feel very good. I didn't feel like absolutely whacked. It was more just my legs were quite tired from Tuesday's session. So I don't want to look into it too much. Um, training has been going really well. One bad session in the grand scheme of things doesn't really matter and it just happens in, in marathon training. There's highs and lows, um, but I'm gonna refuel and um, yeah, go again at the weekend. Hopefully I can run something close to my PB. I'm not sort of fully tapering in for this one um, because I have my heart set on uh, Copenhagen. So it's a case of just seeing where I'm at in terms of my fitness and then building into the next sort of five, six weeks of training. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the insight in today's video. Nick carried on for seven reps and he's looking in real good shape for his Manchester Marathon, which is in four weeks time. He was keen to get a big one in today. So yeah, I'm happy for him that he smashed it. Make sure you go check out his YouTube channel and see how he gets on in Manchester. But enough talking, I'm gonna scram this and I'll see you in another one soon. Aspire to run, run to inspire.